farming is a lot harder than social media makes it seem. Family farms across the United States are rapidly disappearing. 880 million acres of farmland has been gone in five years. 20 million were lost in the five years prior to that. Agriculture contributes a trillion dollars to the U.S. economy each year. It's also why we can all eat. It's higher than the GDP of Indonesia. But farmers make up just 1.3 percent of the labor force, and it keeps going down and down and down. And farmers are having a really hard time filling the 500,000 new jobs available each year as farmers get old and retired. There's one state, though, that's seen success in Pennsylvania. Lawmakers have focused on passing legislation to help. They've safeguarded 600,000 acres of farmland from commercial development since 1988. It's more than any other state. They passed tax credits for beginning farmers and wrote the nation's first state-level farm bill. They put agriculture as part of the state's economic development machine. Pennsylvania's agricultural secretary, Russell Redding, is here, a farmer himself. You can tell by the cows behind him. Uh, old dairy farmer and now uh, corn, wheat, soybeans, and the like. Um, so this is personal for you. Um, are your kids going to take over the farm? Is this, is this part of the reason you're doing this? I, I have two boys, uh, and, and my hope is that um, you know, both of them have an interest in agriculture. I hope one of them sees this future that they want to uh, pursue. But you know, you can't make people love what you love, right? So I'm hopeful. My wife and I are very hopeful that uh, this will turn out to be uh, a generational farm. All right. You say you're hopeful. Um, ho hope isn't a strategy oftentimes. And I think it, yeah. it's interesting is, what, 50 years ago, the answer would have been absolutely that, that my son is going to take this over. Because, and look, even today, um, farmers' households on average make about $100,000, $95,000. All U.S. households, $75,000. Why is it that something that people do well in, um, that both of your sons aren't fighting over the opportunity to take over the family farm? Well, you know, the reality is that, that they're both uh, involved in agriculture in different ways. I mean, one, one is a landscape and the other one's, you know, work works in, uh, uh, you know, around, around the, the county here. Uh, they're contributing in different ways. But I, I think we'll confront this question of generational transfer, just like my wife and I did with, with her family's farm. That's where we're at. Uh, I'm part of a large farm that transitioned uh, to now be in agriculture. So part of this competition is that talent. Uh, you know, is, is in demand a lot of different places. They can put their skills yeah. in food and manufacturing and robotics and uh, medicine. So they can do a lot of things. We hope they want to be in the food and food business. Hey, you, you and I were talking before the segment. Um, if you're in robotics, you don't have to get up on Christmas morning and feed the cows. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's just a different, a different way of life. Price increases year over year. Groceries up 3%, eating out 7%, cereal 7%, bread 9.5%. Maintenance yeah. insurance way up. Uh, farmers are getting squeezed out economically as well. I know you know that. Um, I, I know farmers like to say we buy retail and we sell wholesale, which uh, for obvious reasons uh, makes a confusing uh, business model. Help me understand, though, what, what you're doing in Pennsylvania, why you think it might work. Well, I think there's, there's a couple of things that stood out for us. One, we live here in Pennsylvania where you've got 50 million people in the neighborhood. Right. We have a long history in, in organic. We have got a wonderful uh, direct market access, a lot of retail opportunities, young farmers. We've got cities that have some of the best farm and farmers in, in, in the state. Uh, we want to harvest all of that and, and bring that to, to bear. We believe very strongly you have to have a culture uh, and cultivate this culture of young farmers. And that began some years ago, as you noted in the introduction, preserving lands. We've got more young farmers under the age of 35, but it's a business. It's a business without walls. You've got to invest in, in the business. You've got to market. You've got to people. That's been our strategy for the last number of years, and it is paying off. But you've got to bring everybody to the table who wants to be in this business. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.